What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video we'll be covering the line work tool. It's in the modify tab in the view. So what the line work tool is, is it allows you to change the line work, obviously, of really any types of line that are visible on your screen. And this is particularly very useful when it comes to getting specific line weights for specific elements correct for documentation purposes. Uh, and you could also use this for presentation purposes, I guess, but I've, in my experience, I've used this more for documentation. So without doing anything, I can click the tool and what I've, what I've got at this point, if you look at the green bar up here, all I see is modify line work. And okay, that's, that's what I want to do. And down here at the bottom, it's set telling me to click on a liner component to change its style in the current view. So style, that's a, a glorified way of saying line type or line work or presentation of the line. So that makes more sense if we go to the manage tab, additional settings and line styles. If we click line styles, we can start to see all the different line styles that are baked into our Revit project. And I've just opened a basic Revit project for the most part. There's, there's not a whole lot. There's some extra lines here that you may or may not have. Don't worry about that. Whatever you have is what you can work with. And line styles itself will be another tutorial, another video, but these are very easy to make and adjust if you need to do so. And line styles are global. So like as you make one, you can use it anywhere for drawing a line or using it in the line work tool. So I'm in the line work tool and all the line styles that you just saw are going to be in this drop down box. So let's choose solid five. And this is just a, a pin weight of five and a basic black line. So if I come in here now, I, you can see I've got the solid five selected and I'm still using the tool because, because you can see I've got that crosshair. And as I begin to highlight over different elements on the screen, you can see that every line pops up. And that's because the end result of the line work tool is adjusting the line work of a particular line. And the adjustment is based on my selection of the line style up here. In this case, it's gonna be this solid five. So to demonstrate that, I can zoom in on this door and you can see the different lines within the door begin to highlight. So if I click on the door swing, that door swing will actually change to that solid five line. And so now maybe I can change, I want to change the line type to uh, maybe even a dashed, a dashed. And I can come over to this wall on the edge of this wall. I can select that and that becomes a giant dashed line. I can come to the edge of that wall, the same thing. I can actually even get into the parts of the wall and begin to make those different dashes. I can choose this different dash here. And as I select different lines, the lines in this view are all changed. So something to be aware that every 2D element in Revit, whether it's a it, basically anything in the annotation tab, is going to be view dependent, which means it's only going to show up in that particular view that you have added it, changed it, affected it, or whatever. So anything, basically anything in this entire tab is going to be per view. So that also applies to this line work tool. So if I've got this tool and I select that line there, if I, if I go look at this cabinet or this countertop anywhere else in the entire project, I'm not going to see this dashed line because this is per view. So I can start to get crazy with it too. If I've got these weird smoke barrier lines, maybe they're supposed to be something specific. Again, this is, it's very situational, but it's a very quick way of getting into trying to adjust the line types of specific lines per a specific view. And this is also something to note because all of these lines have their different thicknesses. They are, they're, they're specific to the line style. But if I have, if I come up here and I turn thin lines on, and you can press TL to do that as well. If I press thin lines, everything will be a single pin weight, which is one, the number one in the line styles. 
everything, regardless of its uh, dash component, solid, whatever it might be, it's going to be turned into a single pin weight. So that, just be aware of that. If you see everything showing up as one, that's that's you probably have thin lines on. Now thin lines because it's it is it's an override to Revit itself, like the Revit interface, the Revit view, what you see. It's going to be global. If I go to a different view, and I'll go to this 3D view, you can see I have thin lines. Every single line is one single pin weight. And as soon as I turn thin lines off, you can see that I get these nice bolded lines for where walls end and different elements end and start and are cut. And just like before, you can see I've got all my thicknesses back because I'd have turned thin lines off. So back to the, the line weights tool. I use this specifically for... Uh, manipulating elements and in 2D but also in section details different kinds of details for presentation purposes and documentation purposes there might be a particular reason why you need to change the line type of some some element so that's why you would use this tool now I will be honest I don't use this tool a whole lot because I go to the trouble of putting the proper line weights for the proper or for the different types of tools and uh, annotation elements that I use for my details. So all of those elements have the correct line types baked into them. So as I apply them to my details, they're already there and I don't have to worry about it. Now, there might be a, a particular circumstance where you want to accentuate something or make sure uh, a vapor barrier is seen. And maybe you haven't gone to the trouble of making a family that carries a particular line weight for uh, an, a vapor barrier. So maybe you want to take a standard line that you've drawn or a standard line of, on a particular region, a fill region, and you want to change that. And th this, this line work tool is one way and one very quick way per view that you could do that. So this is something that you may not have been aware of, but the tool itself is not just applicable and, and works beyond just in 2D components. So I'm in a 3D view. I've got this floor plan here and I've got everything shown in 3D and this, the tool is still available to me. It's actually the only tool available in the modify tab under this view. And I can select that. And just like before, I can, I can select all the different line styles that I have in the entire project so maybe at this point we want like a dashed let's make it a dash with a pin weight of three and so now i could come in here and every different line that shows up in revit as a, as an edge of an element or something like that the edge or the end of a wall or something like that is going to be usable for the line type tool so i could change the edge of this door to be dashed now now this is kind of silly and you may not necessarily need to do this in 3d but it's really good to know that the line work tool is not just a 2d tool you could use this in 3d i would probably use this more for presentation purposes than anything because now maybe i want to take this um, i've got temporary lines that are going to show up as red you can actually type and get down to temp so I got a temp one that's blue and maybe I want to accentuate this particular wall here and you can see as I click the edge of that wall that will turn blue and it it, it change it does not change it stays with me orbiting around the view there's nothing uh, too special about it beyond the fact that it does edit these lines the and changes the style based on your selection but you could use this for a very quick presentation tool. So maybe you want to do something like this and take a snippet and show that this is the wall that needs to move. It, maybe you use it for something like that because it's a very quick way of getting in there, changing the lines themselves and showing that you want something specific done. Now, again, I don't use this a lot for 3D or even 2D, but that is a good example of how the line work tool can be used in both 2d and 3d and how these different line styles end up showing throughout your project in different ways so i sure hope you learned something if you did please demolish that like button it really helps me a lot also if you did enjoy this video please subscribe there will always be more videos coming out i've got lots more planned 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll get to them all. I sure hope you had a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.